pineapple upside down cake. To make this dessert extra special, I like to bake it in individual sized cakes. These ramekins are perfect for a single serving. So start the recipe in a saucepan melt. And notice, look, this is my brown sugar, dark brown sugar. To keep it fresh and moist, I always put a slice of apple into the container in which it's stored. Uh, once you open the box, it will dry out if you don't really put it into a airtight container. So here, half a cup of dark brown sugar, packed, eight tablespoons of unsalted butter, and a pinch of salt. Turn this on and we want to create a nice base for our ramekins, which will be the top of the upside down cake. So while that's melting, generously butter the whole inside of each ramekin. These ramekins are 10 ounces. Okay, they're all done. And now the pineapple itself. We want quarter inch slices for our pineapple upside down cake. I'm using a good sturdy serrated knife to slice my pineapple. And there, six slices. And the reason I didn't peel it is because we're going to take it off anyway with our cutter. We want to find a cutter exactly the size of the ramekin. And this one's perfect. So we take the cutter and cut the nicest round out of this pineapple. And here we have a lovely slice. Make sure your cutters are nice and sharp before you embark on this project. So now we want to take the core out because that really is tough. Find another cookie cutter or biscuit cutter that's the right size for the core and take that out. Now, <laughs> doesn't that look a lot like canned pineapple? But the taste is a lot different. So that's our pineapple all done. And now each ramekin gets about a tablespoon or a little bit more of this dark, buttery, sugary mixture. But we want to use up all of this lovely syrup, so try to even out your portions. And now put one slice of pineapple in each and see how they fit exactly. Lovely. And now for the cake. In the bowl of an electric mixer, cream one stick of butter, one cup of sugar, and cream this until it's nice and light and fluffy and add the seeds from one vanilla bean. Just slice it right down the middle lengthwise and scrape out all the fragrant tiny seeds from inside the vanilla bean. Those are the vanilla bean seeds. Add two whole eggs. And in another bowl, mix up your dry ingredients. One and three quarters cups cake flour, one and three quarters teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And cake flour is essential because it's a very finely milled flour from soft wheat, makes a very nice light cake. And we have two thirds of a cup of whole milk. So we're gonna add the flour alternately with the milk. the flour, and this is just enough for all six pineapple upside down cakes. Okay, so dole out the batter using these nice ice cream scoops. One of the large ones. This is a half cup size ice cream scoop, and then a little small one for the remainder. This pretty much uses up the batter. And you can use an offset spatula. Just level out the tops. You don't really want a bumpy cake because this is the bottom, remember that. Now, get this into a 350 degree oven, preheated, and bake until golden and a cake tester comes out clean. That'll take about 30 to 35 minutes. So now we're making the last part of this dessert, a caramel rum sauce. Three quarters of a cup of sugar dissolved in a quarter of a cup of hot water. You want it to caramelize a little bit. While that's starting to cook, we're going to unmold our beautiful 
ramekins. And you can run a knife around the edge. We've concocted some tongs that will lift very, very hot things by wrapping towels around the tips of the tongs. Put a plate over like that, invert. Best unmolded when they're still slightly warm. Aren't those the cutest little pineapple upside down cakes you ever did see? And we're waiting for our caramel syrup. Turn off the flame before you add one cup of heavy cream. Be very careful, it might try to erupt up over the top and you don't want that to happen. Just turn on the flame again to kind of medium high and stir until it becomes very thick and very creamy. So now you need one teaspoon of vanilla and two tablespoons of a rich dark rum. Okay, we're keeping everything in the tropical vein here and one tablespoon of cold butter, just to make the sauce even a little bit richer. So let that cool, and then pour it over your beautiful pineapple upside down cakelets right before you serve. Now you can embellish this even further with a big dollop of whipped cream, even a scoop of vanilla ice cream. But I think it's so good just as it is. Enjoy.